Hello friends, welcome back to the Center for Civil Engineers. In this video, I am going to explain to you all about an underground water storage tank slab reinforcement details. Especially, what is hidden beam, vent pipe, manhole and few other things of an underground water storage tank. Those who are watching this video for the first time, request you to subscribe to our channel and for more updates, tap over bell icon and choose all options so that whenever I post any video, you will get a notification. So let's get into the video. Here you can see the concealed beam or hidden beam or slab beam. The definition of hidden beam is, it is a reinforced concrete beam also called concealed or slab beam provided within the depth of the supporting slabs. Uh, here you can see bottom reinforcement and uh, top reinforcement and also shear reinforcement. And now here you can see the manhole. Manhole is also called utility hole or maintenance hole. It is used to check the water level and also uh, for service purpose. Here you can see bottom jacks uh, supporting to the slab and uh, here you can see the vent pipe. Uh, vent pipe, uh, main function of vent pipe is uh, to maintain neutral air pressure inside the tank and another function is to allow vapor, air and odor to evacuate. This is, uh, that is the function of a vent pipe. And uh, here you can see the tension reinforcement at the bottom and compression reinforcement at the top. And here this the particular type of slab here it is two-way slab. Why it is two-way slab is the length to breadth ratio of this slab is uh, less than two. That is L by B ratio is less than two. Then such type of slab is called two-way slab. That means the main reinforcement and the distribution reinforcement both are provided by 8 mm dia bars. Here you can see the reinforcement in both direction in x direction and y direction both are provided with 8 mm dia and uniform center to center that is 8 inches center to center and uh, all side wall are all side walls are constructed by rcc and uh, all bars are bent into the slabs here uh, there are two manholes are provided why because in this tank there are two compartments are available that's why two manholes are provided and two vent pipes also provided and here you can see the uh, concealed beam at the center this beam is provided exactly center to the entire width of the slab so here you can see uh, entire slab structure uh, now here you can see entire structure and uh, side you can see the side form work for the side of the slab and here you can see outside of the tank and uh, see this outside wall is constructed by using rcc uh, here you can see other side of the tank and uh, this after uh, concreting you can see the con slab like this uh, it is under curing process curing method that is ponding curing method after 14 days we can remove this uh, curing and uh, now you can see the pipe that is vent pipe from the from the uh, that position we can place the pipe and uh, we can uh, complete the structure so i hope you understood about these uh, things uh, if you have any doubts, you can ask me through WhatsApp or you can ask in chat box also.